Barrel Boat Building fans, this is Jeremy back again for episode 3.1415 of my Barrel Boat build. So I'm taking taking off from where I left off last time. I had just put all the foam on there and it started to dry up and expand a little bit. So it was kind of pushing away from the model. So what I did is I tied it down. I tried to put some heavy stuff on it, but it was, I was trying to like balance it on there and I didn't want it to fall off on the cats. So I just tied it down real good. It still left a little bit of a gap between the foam and the, and the boat. I ended up fixing that later, but I wanted to at least see how it separated from the, from the boat, how the foam separated from the boat. And I was trying it right here and I noticed that some spots on the foam were a little soft, so I let it dry for another few hours, and I came back to it, and I tried it, and now, now it was hard again, so I popped it out of there, and it seemed like it just popped right out pretty easy. It was really neat how how well that cellophane just kept everything from sticking. It popped right out, and you can see now the boat is separate. So this whole entire video is really nothing about building the barrel boat model. It's just getting this little RC model part to, to work so that I can drive the little barrel boat model around. So the barrel boat model itself, really zero gets accomplished on that on this time. It's just more so that I can have fun driving the little boat around. I thought it would be cool to drive that boat around while I'm driving the actual boat around when it's made in a few years. Well, you can see I, I kept the, kept the, uh, foam off of that little section on the top where I could pop it out and rechange the battery and, and then here's my hot knife, a hot wire, foam cutter. And this first time, <laughs> this first time when I tried to do it, I was, you can see I didn't really have the camera set up right, so you could hardly see it cutting at all. But I was just getting the main like pillowy fluffy looking part of it off of there i did get this one little part where i got a good cut on the with the with the hot wire cutter there was one little part where you could actually see me cutting through the foam right here and i saved that little part the rest of it i just sped through but you can see the smoke that comes off of there it's kind of toxic smoke it says so I did all the foam cutting outside just to for better ventilation. I mean, there wasn't a ton of smoke coming off of there. So you would slice through and then you'd pull that off and it would, it was pretty neat how that worked. The thing is that that wire cutter is kind of short. So I had to do it in several passes. I couldn't go all the way across the bottom at once. I didn't have a really big wire cutter like some of these guys have, but it was still pretty fun. And then here, I finished that one trim, and then I I wanted to get it to fit a little tighter, so I did another layer of of uh, foam. I put some more cellophane on there, put a little bit more foam on top of that boat, stuck it back on the model, and let it dry again overnight. Actually, a couple nights, and now I'm doing the whole process again, cutting that off, checking the fit, is everything dry, and now it fits in really tight, you can see it. It takes a little bit more effort to pop it out of there because it fits in really nice and tight. So I'm not going to have to like secure that thing on there. It should just fit right in there, pop in, pop out. When I'm not, when I'm not driving it around the, the lake or whatever, I can just pop that thing out of there. And I'll have this separate uh, barrel boat model. So the rest of these videos... Other than a few of them where I'll take it out to the lake, it'll just be the barrel boat model. And then when I do take it out to the lake, I'll use the I'll use the RC part of it and pop that in there. I still got a lot of work to do on that model. I think it's coming out pretty cool so far. But the rest of this video is all about this little guy here. Getting this set up so that it floats, floats nice and even and accurately. And go through several iterations, several steps of cutting a little bit off, testing how it floats, cutting a little bit more off, 
uh, finalizing it. Here I'm cutting that extra foam out that I added. So the rest of this video, I'm, I don't know, I might pop in here and there to say something, but most of the time it's going to be just listen to some music and watch me try to get this RC part so that it floats correctly and that it kind of looks nice and it'll have a good, uh, good aero hydrodynamic flow, I guess. floats for the next time. I've done it already. What? Well, I've already done this one time and then one time in the lake. I'm going to try it one more time in this little tub now that I added some foam flotation and we'll see how that works. And I'm guessing I'll probably have to cut some more foam off but I didn't want to cut off too much because you, once you cut it off you can't put it back on so I'm cutting a little bit off uh, trying it cutting some more off until it gets the right flotation where the where the barrels are like partially submerged and then we'll try it out at the lake once we get the right flotation here I'll probably cover the foam up with some duct tape but it's pretty neat. It comes apart really nicely. You can just take the boat right off of the right off of the raft. It just pops right out. You just push up on the push on the top here, or when the top's on there, you'll just pull on the bottom. It pulls right out. So I'm gonna try this. See how the flotation is. And then we go from there. Oh, turn it on more. Oh. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. 
Thank you. 
got it. What was that? The third, fourth try? I've got it. I'm gonna put some duct tape around it, clean up the last little bit of the model body part, and then go try it out on the lake. It's freezing today, so probably not today. <laughs>
super shiny silver tape but I was super happy with how that came out it looks super cool looks like I kind of remade a different model boat that fits under there and still got the, the engine that sticks out in the water and it's still got the, the two little sensors that have to touch the water on the bottom of that green part for it to turn on it floats nice and even and it fits in there nicely nice and tight it pops in and out real easily so I was pretty psyched about how well that came out. You never know how something's going to come out when you start it, but sometimes it comes out really cool like that. And we'll see. I mean, it's not fully tested yet. But I'll take it out to the lake and try it out another day. Like I said earlier, it's really cold today. Or I guess when I made this, it was really cold. It's, it's night right now. It's that time change zone so that we're uh, like psyched that it gets dark at like 4 30 now which is cool it's night when you go to work it's night when you come home so really these days off is the only time i have and there they are sitting right next to each other there's the barrel boat which is what you'll be seeing from here on out working on that and then there's the little rc model boat next to it so the only times you'll see that is when i'm out taking it on the lake taking it on the river or wherever I'm taking it on the water out in nature. No bathtub flowing. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching again. See you on the next one where I'm working more on the model. <laughs>